Sherman Alexie's first-person narrative book, The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian, is told from the viewpoint of a 14-year-old Native American youngster named Arnold Spirit Jr., also referred to as Jr., who is a talented cartoonist. In the book, 14-year-old Arnold Spirit Jr., referred to as Jr. by his friends and family, lives in poverty on the Spokane Indian Reservation in Welpinit, Washington, with his family. He makes cartoons to help him make sense of the world. Jr. has thick spectacles, a deformed cranium, and is small, geeky, and creative. Both adults and children on the reservation bully him. However, Rowdy, his fierce and athletic closest friend, stands up for him. Even though there is a lot of turmoil and disagreement between his mother, father, and sister, Junior is close to them all. When the family cannot afford to cure Oscar, the ailing dog, Junior's father takes his life. Junior can't wait to start his first year at the high school on reservation. He discovers that he is using the exact same textbook his mother used years ago in his geometry lesson. Junior throws the book at Mr. P, his white instructor, out of frustration at the school's lack of resources and care. Subsequently, Mr. P pays Junior a visit at his house and encourages him to go from the reserve in search of hope. Junior informs his parents that he wants to go to Reardon High, an exclusive school located in a posh white neighborhood. While surprised, his parents are encouraging. Junior is betrayed and seen as a traitor by other Native Americans living on the reservation. The rejection of Junior's close-knit community breaks Junior's heart, and Rowdy's rejection hurts Junior even more. Junior feels self-conscious due to his poverty during his first few days at Reardon. When his parents don't have enough money for petrol, he often walks at least part of the 22 kilometers from school to his house. His new peers insult him or ignore him, sometimes making racial remarks. He is used to using violence to resolve disputes, but he finds out that his new school does not tolerate this approach. That being said, education becomes easier with time. Junior forms friendships with a number of Reardon pupils, including the intelligent and inquisitive Gordy, the athletic Roger, and the imaginative and caring Penelope. To his astonishment, he gets selected for the Reardon basketball team after trying out. Mary, Junior's elder sister, marries and relocates to Montana in the meantime. As Junior and his sister embark on their new lives, the reservation has its fair share of tragedy. The closest friend of Junior's father, Eugene, passes away violently, and a drunk driver kills Junior's grandma, who was very kind. Junior comes to understand the importance of the reservation people in his life as the community grieves. He also hears that his Reardon basketball team will face Welpin at high school, the reserve school he formerly attended. When the Native American players turn their backs on Junior during their first game against Welpinit, Rowdy attacks him on the court. With the support of his coach, Junior gets ready for the rematch, ready to show off. When he returns to the court, he defeats Rowdy with remarkable ease. Even while Junior is pleased with his achievement, he understands the impact the defeat would have on the Welpinit squad. Mary, Junior's sister, passes away in an alcohol-related accident close to the conclusion of the school year. Although Rowdy holds Junior responsible for his sister's departure, the death strengthens the bonds between Junior's family. Junior also starts to understand the terrible consequences that alcohol has on the reservation. Junior discovers that his Reardon classmates really care about him as they help him get over his loss. Junior and his dad take a minute to bond at their family members' graves as the school year draws to a close. Later on, Junior and Rowdy make up, and they play hoops together. If you have any suggestion of which book I should summarize, please let me know in the comments, 
And if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.